the Christmas story. A long time ago, there was a little town called Nazareth. There lived a young Jewish girl named Mary. She was a very kind and obedient girl. Mary was unmarried, but soon she was going to get married to a good man named Joseph. One day, something amazing happened to Mary. An angel was sent to her from heaven. The holy angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. Mary was very much surprised to see him and asked, Who are you? I am Gabriel. Gabriel. Don't, Don't be, be afraid, afraid of me, Mary. Mary. God, God has sent me to you. God, God loves, loves you very, very much. much. You, you have, have been chosen for a for very special, special task. task. Soon, you are going to have a son. Me? A son? Mary was very much surprised. But still, she kept calm and quiet. Gabriel continued. His name will be Jesus. Your great son will be called as the Son of God. He will do great things for people. Mary said, I am not afraid. I am honored to know that Lord's wish will come true through me. The very next day, Mary told everything to Joseph and then they got married. Just near the time Mary was going to have her baby, the Roman Emperor sent his soldiers to announce a new law. Now listen everyone, the Emperor Augustus has ordered censors and he wants every citizen of the country to be counted and documented. Now all of you need to go back to your home city to get counted. So Mary and Joseph made their way to Bethlehem because that is where Joseph was actually from. In those days, no means of transport was available. Somehow Joseph arranged a small donkey. Mary sat on it and Joseph walked behind them. They walked for many, many days through the desert. It was a long and difficult journey. At last, they reached Bethlehem. But they could not find any place for themselves there because the city was overcrowded and all the inns were full. Joseph asked, How do you feel, Mary? Oh, Joseph, I am very tired. But don't worry, I am sure. God has some special place for us. Both Joseph and Mary were very tired and didn't know what to do, where to go. Joseph said, Oh God, please help us. At last, they found a special place for themselves. It was not a palace, nor a castle, but a humble, small stable. The stable was full of fresh hay. Joseph said, Let me make a comfortable bed for you, Mary, with some fresh hay. That night, Jesus was born. They filled a manger with some fresh hay and made a comfortable bed for the newborn. It was a wonderful night. A bright star appeared in the sky just after the birth of Jesus. Nearby, some shepherds were watching their ships. Suddenly, an angel appeared to them. 
the shepherds were very much amazed to see the angel the angel said i have a good news for you all tonight in the town of bethlehem a baby boy has been born his name is jesus he is the savior of the mankind the savior where is he can we see him the angel told them where to find him the shepherds were so excited that they ran to the stable and found baby jesus they praised baby jesus and bowed down in worship the shepherds then started spreading the good news and everyone who heard this was in wonder the night jesus was born three wise men were traveling on their camels across the desert suddenly a bright star appeared it was a kind of a star they had never seen before the wise men were fully aware of the significance of the star they were overjoyed because they understood that son of god had been born the wise men followed the star for several days and found baby jesus they had brought gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh these were very valuable gifts and only given to kings the three wise men fully understood the purpose of jesus's birth so they brought such valuable gifts for a newborn finally the star disappeared right over the manger the wise men smiled at mary and bowed down to the baby they were surprised to find the savior of the mankind lying in a manger in a humble small stable the story shows us that great things can have small and humble beginning merry christmas to all